uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Welcome back to channel on Bushkin. Today, we are looking at a new series called Top Dollar Tanks. Basically, I'm just going to run through the best credit grinding tanks in the game at both tier 7 and tier 8. And we're going to talk to you about why they're so good and whether you should buy them because that's what people really want to know. This is inspired by the World of Tanks Blitz subreddit where there is a non-stop stream of queries every week about, hey, should I get this tier 8 premium credit grinding tank? Is this a good tank? What is the best tank to grind credits on at tier 8? And I'm going to show you a game of me playing the Scent 5 and 1 here. And then I'm going to show you a game by Premium Tanker. Uh, I think it's on the AU server. Could be an A. It's not Asia. I know that for sure. Where he does the most ludicrous, ludicrous, ludicrous amount of damage in a Scent 5 and 1. And makes an absolute insane bucket load of cash. I'm going to talk to you about what's so good about this tank. Now, I have a Patreon channel. Once a, one, once a month, you get charged on there. If you want to support the channel, uh, you can pledge as much or as little as you want. A dollar, a hundred, whatever you want. One charge a month. It's literally just to make the channel a little bit more financially viable and uh, give me a, a reason to tell the wife, yes, I'm still making tank videos. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Three things about this tank really really need to know one excellent pen 190 millimeters of pen means you can easily handle same tier heavy tanks tds and lights and mediums two excellent gun handling uh 0.299 dispersion when you're running double rations 0.303 if you're not and you want to run protective kit all up to you but um be aware that this tank even with nothing on it has good gun handling good aim time Excellent. I mean, look at the reticle. I'm running around in this thing doing top speed. Uh, 45 is your top speed on the flat, by the way. And uh, three, 10 degrees of gun depression that allows you to use your very strong turret to farm damage. And that's really where this tank is at. For me, this is easily one of the top five credit grinding tanks in the game. Um, it doesn't have the flat out wild credit coefficient of a Lerva, for instance. A Lerva has 185% credit coefficient. The 5-in-1 has 170%. The thing that makes the 5-in-1 better for me is, one, it's a lot more fun grinding credits in a medium or a light tank than it is grinding tank credits in a heavy tank. It's not always the best way to do it, but I think it's just way more flexible. It gives you so many more options on the battlefield and allows you to actually move around the map quite comfortably. Two, because your AP is so good and you're a medium tank, you are able to get to flanks and you're able to bully tanks hull down. That means you are spending less money, less cash on actually paying for penetration. So like in an IS-6, for instance, where your penetration is god awful. <coughs> um, and that's gun depression just means that you can do so much more on the battlefield. You can actually find so many places to use your gun depression that it's easier to get shots off. And it's easier for those farm positions like the far corner of um, Port Bay or, you know, you get, you get the, you pick it up what I'm throwing down. That's, for me, what makes this one of the best premium credit grinding tanks in the game. Now, there are going to be other videos that I do here. Um, I'll probably include videos if people have good games in Barasks or Skoda T27s, Chimeras, any credit grinding tank at tier 8. Send them in to the channel, bushkagaming at gmail.com, and uh, there's a chance we'll use that in a video. So there we go, 3,850. Because it's a tier 9 game, that tips us up over the uh, experience needed for the mastery badge and we come away from that one looking pretty smooth with a hundred and forty four thousand credits in the bank lovely hey that's when you're credit grinding that's what you want to be doing 1620 xp really good xp for any tank generally going to be a mastery now we're going to see premium tanker in just watch this you clowns this is an absolute flogging in 
any man's language. The numbers he's going to put up here are good at tier 10. They're really good at tier 10. They're the kind of games, if I had a game like this at tier 10, I'd be fist pumping. And uh, this is why the Cent 5 and 1 is just sensational. It's DPM is a very reasonable uh, 2300. Uh, is it 2300? 2334. I thought it was. And again, you can see 45 kilometers an hour is enough to get you out here. Now, there's a tank in front of him, obviously. That is a T-71 who has drastically overextended. And that is a tier 7 light tank that just can't get through the angled upper glacis and the turret of this monster. The rate of fire on this thing is hilarious. Brilliant for perma tracking. Great for just charging through the bad guys. He has already topped out 1,242 damage. And we are less than 60 seconds into the matchup. One light tank down on the red team and premium tanker is on a mission here. This is a Panther 8.8, .8, another premium tank. Unfortunately for him, it is not renowned for its mobility or its armor profile. And it is also not renowned for driving backwards towards tier eight tanks. I don't know what he was doing. The IS-2 shielded has dropped low for a chance uh, to help out the medium tanks and the light tanks. However, he's, his flank has evaporated. And that tank right there does not have what you would call a strong gun. One of the problems with running tier seven tanks is you get up so often in tier eight. And it's also one of the reasons why there are very few tanks that I consider worth using as premium credit grinders at tier seven. And some of them are just dog awful to play. But I love the way the premium tanker is still pushing. For, it is incredible for me that they are a tank down and he's already at 3,200 damage. Enemy armor is damaged. Uh, and that's at five minutes to go. 3,200 damage, 3,600 damage. The low alpha, don't be fooled. The low alpha is not a problem. When you are firing this quickly, when the gun has this much pen, when the gun depression, oh, whoa, 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 back it up. Good hits, and that is the gun depression getting him those hits there. Whoa, whoa, GSOR has come around as well. Back that up, big dog. Start using that turret again. Always go for the shots on the hatch on the T-34. Uh, nothing like getting one on the very, very tippity top. And I like what he's doing here. Getting an angle. If the Tiger one's the whole tank, but the Mark V and one is going to be switching around to the edges and getting shots now into the side and the very weak frontal armor of the T-34 Falcon. Switching targets to the lower hit point tank. Very, very useful. And now that Tiger, the 34 is all about it. It is a 1v3. We are at 4,683 damage. He cycles through the ammo types going for maximum efficiency on that HE round. We have not seen... There is a tank that we haven't seen damage. for a bit here. That IS-2 has disappeared. There's another IS-2 there. This is damage. what we're talking about. This is why this tank is such a beast for credit grinding. Once you are hull down with this thing, it is so difficult to deal with. Throws a, uh, just a rando across there at the IS-2 to let him know he's still thinking about him. The T-34H combat is convinced that he is going to lose. I... I am kind of love the angler. Love the angler. And this is why you're a bully. Tier 8 monster gun versus tier 7 heavies. And it ain't no contest. And this is 6,000 freaking damage. 6,000 damage on the Centurion 5 and 1. Riding the credits, just making sure he doesn't take a hit. Trying to draw it out. <coughs> what a gun. I mean, hitting weak points We've like a boss. Them. Adrenaline on. This poor IS-2 is just rumbling forward. Not IS-2, IS. Just rumbling forward. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Oh. That's nuts. That is nuts. 6,607 damage. 1570 blocked. The obvious mastery. Kolobodov. Picked up a few kills along the way, earned himself plus 311,000 credits.
if you want to grind credits, that's a great way to do it. And no one else in the team even cracked a thousand damage. That is an insane amount of damage for Premium Tanker. Uh, underscore NA, clues in the title from the North American server. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this series, request some tanks. Look after yourselves. Stay safe on the battlefield. And until next time, bye for now.